the history of the bandstand. The history of the bandstand is um, a very, very interesting um, part of our cultural heritage. Most people think that it actually dates back to the great Victorian times and the great British parks that we had up and down the country. Absolutely not the case. Um, bandstands themselves actually go way, way back to the times of the, the pleasure gardens, kind of 1740s, 1750s. Vauxhall Pleasure Gardens, Cremorne Pleasure Gardens, we went to be entertained and it was really very much the kind of birth of uh, entertainment in public open spaces and what you had is um, very much soon after that is the great Victorian park building programme where we had nearly every park would have a bandstand somewhere where you went to be entertained, a kind of rational recreation, um, something that was deemed as correct and morally improving the uh, and certainly good for the greater good and, um, and those who were looking for somewhere basically somewhere to keep them out, the alehouses and the gin and the gin palaces. So bandstands, again, certainly very, very, um, very important part of our cultural history. But again, question is, where did most of them come from? Who made them? Uh, what was the inspiration for the designs? And again, if you look behind me, you've got the Watford bandstand going back up in Casterbury Park. Uh, it was lost for a period of time and it was moved outside the town hall in Watford and is only just going back into Casbury Park as part of a lottery funded project and is once again back in use. So again, Second World War, we lost most of them. Those that remained were left empty, derelict, empty shells if they weren't, if they weren't being performed on. Absolutely useless to anybody. But what have we got now? We've got a revival going underway. You can hear a band playing in the background just. Uh, you've got the Watford bandstand going back up and many, many bandstands elsewhere that have since been restored. Again, a wonderful, wonderful story to tell. So again, why am I telling you this? Well, like I say, I've done a couple of books uh, on the history of the bandstand, but the one I'm doing at the moment, which is what I'm speaking to you about now, is really the history, the decline and the revival of the British bandstand. Uh, and it tells the full story. It tells the story of those who made them. It tells the story of what went on in the Pleasure Gardens and it tells you a little bit more detail about the kind of music that was played, the brass band movement, the decline where it all went wrong right through to the revival and the re massive rebuilding program that we've got going on today. So it's an incredible, incredible story and this book tells that story. So I do hope you enjoy it uh, and um, f find it as fascinating as I have. <laughs>